Hi guys. Welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to explore most beautiful estates in the world. Please like, subscribe, share my YouTube channel. Imagine stepping into a world of opulence and grandeur, where every corridor whispers tales of royal splendor. Welcome to the Palace of Versailles. Sitting just outside the City of Lights, Paris, the Palace of Versailles is a testament to the absolute monarchy of the ancient regime. Its origins trace back to the 17th century, under the rule of Louis XIV, the Sun King. Once a hunting lodge, it was transformed into a residence of extravagant display, a stage for the Sun King's absolute power. The architectural beauty of this palace is unmatched. It's a perfect blend of classic French architecture with elements of Italian Renaissance. Each room is adorned with ornate details, from the gilded woodwork to the frescoed ceilings, all exuding a timeless elegance. The Palace of Versailles isn't just about the magnificent building. It also boasts of a sprawling garden, a masterpiece designed by André Le Nôtre. Covering over 800 hectares, the garden is a world of its own, with meticulously manicured lawns, vibrant flower beds, statuettes, and fountains that bring to life mythological tales. One cannot talk about Versailles without mentioning the Hall of Mirrors. This grand gallery, stretching over 70 meters long, is lined with 17 wide arcaded mirrors facing 17 windows overlooking the gardens. It's a sight to behold, a spectacle of light and space that leaves visitors spellbound. The Palace of Versailles isn't just a symbol of royal extravagance, but it's also steeped in history. It's where the Treaty of Versailles was signed, marking the end of World War I. Recognizing its historical and cultural significance, UNESCO declared it a World Heritage Site in 1979. The Palace of Versailles, a royal chateau that leaves everyone in awe, starts our countdown at number 10. From the heart of France we move across the Atlantic to sunny California, where the Hearst Castle stands tall. Here, nestled amidst the Santa Lucia Mountains, this grand estate is a harmonious blend of European influence and American ingenuity. The Hearst Castle is an architectural marvel, offering a unique fusion of Mediterranean revival, Gothic, and Romanesque styles. Its splendor is enhanced by the famous Neptune Pool, an outdoor marvel that is as much a work of art as it is a swimming pool. And speaking of art, the castle is home to a vast collection, with pieces ranging from Greek sculptures to rare oriental rugs, each telling a story of its own. These treasures, collected by William Randolph Hearst himself, lend an air of cultured elegance to this Californian gem. The Hearst Castle, a testament to the grandeur of yesteryears, takes the ninth spot in our countdown. Nestled in the lap of the Bavarian Alps, the Neuschwanstein Castle seems straight out of a fairy tale. Its soaring towers and romantic turrets have been captivating imaginations long before they inspired the iconic Disneyland's Sleeping Beauty Castle. Erected in the late 19th century by Ludwig II of Bavaria, the castle was intended as a private retreat, but tragically, the king spent only 11 nights there before his demise. The castle's interior is as spellbinding as its exterior, boasting opulent rooms filled with frescoes depicting mythical tales. But it's not just the castle's design that's enchanting. Its location is equally breathtaking, with panoramic views of the surrounding Alps and lakes. And let's not forget the castle's dramatic history. From Ludwig's mysterious death to its seizure by the Nazis during World War II, the Neuschwanstein Castle is steeped in intrigue. The Neuschwanstein Castle, a dream etched in stone, is our eighth pick. In the heart of North Carolina, the Biltmore Estate stands as America's largest home. This grandeur is a testament to the Gilded Age, born from the vision of George Washington Vanderbilt. The estate's history is as rich as its architecture, a masterpiece crafted by Richard Morris Hunt that boasts an impressive 250 rooms. In this regal mansion, the echoes of opulence reverberate through the grand banquet hall, library, and the countless bedrooms. But the Biltmore's beauty extends beyond its walls. The estate is nestled within vast gardens, a living artwork designed by the landscape architect, Frederick Law Olmsted. Now, let's not forget the Biltmore's winery. Within its historic cellars, the art of winemaking comes alive, producing award-winning wines that are a testament to the estate's commitment to excellence. And as the year draws to a close, the annual Christmas celebration transforms the estate 
making it a winter wonderland of joy and elegance. The Biltmore Estate, a symbol of American luxury, takes the seventh place. On the azure coastline of the French Riviera, the Villa Effrussi de Rothschild is a jewel of architecture. This villa, a radiant pink gem nestled among lush greenery, stands as a testament to the refined taste of the French elite. Its unique pink hue, reminiscent of a delicate rose, lends an air of whimsy to the grandeur of the structure. The villa is surrounded by nine stunning gardens, each one a world unto itself. From the fragrant roses of the French garden to the exotic plants of the Japanese garden, these outdoor spaces are a feast for the senses. Step inside, and the elegance continues. The interior brims with precious artworks, antique furniture, and ornate decorations, each room a carefully curated display of affluence and artistry. Be it the tapestries that tell tales of yore, or the porcelain collections that whisper of delicate craftsmanship, the villa is a treasure trove of art. The Villa Effrussi de Rothschild, a taste of French elegance, is our sixth pick. In the heart of England, the Chatsworth House stands as a testament to the country's rich history. This magnificent estate, nestled in the rolling hills of Derbyshire, has been the seat of the Cavendish family since the 16th century. The Chatsworth House isn't just a house, it's a living piece of history, each room an echo of centuries past. The estate isn't only about the grandeur of its architecture, though. The beautiful gardens, spanning over 100 acres, are a spectacle to behold. From intricate fountains to the mesmerizing emperor fountain, the gardens are a testament to the aesthetic sensibilities of the age. And if you're a fan of literature, you might find the Chatsworth House particularly enchanting. This historic estate is believed to have been the inspiration for Pemberley, the residence of Mr. Darcy in Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice. The Chatsworth House, an epitome of English charm, takes the fifth place. In the romantic landscapes of Italy, the Villa d'Este is a masterpiece of the Renaissance. Nestled in the heart of Tivoli, this grand estate whispers stories of a bygone era. Constructed in the 16th century, Villa d'Este was once a resplendent hub for artists, poets, and philosophers, reflecting the spirit of the Renaissance. Its magnificent gardens are a sight to behold. Imagine a symphony of water, a concert of fountains and cascades, playing in harmony with nature. The Hundred Fountains, the Oval Fountain, and the Organ Fountain are a few of the mesmerizing water features that grace this estate. Villa d'Este isn't just a villa, it's a testament to human creativity and ambition. The grandeur of its gardens and the elegance of its architecture earned it a well-deserved place as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Villa d'Este, a Renaissance beauty, is our fourth pick. Perched on a hilltop in Sintra, the Pina Palace is a colorful display of architectural brilliance. This grand estate, dating back to the 19th century, is a testament to Portugal's rich history and culture. The palace was built by King Ferdinand II, who desired a royal sanctuary that would capture the essence of the Romanticism era. Its vibrant exterior, a blend of yellows, reds, and blues, is a visual feast that contrasts beautifully with the lush greenery of the surrounding Sintra Hills. The Penna Palace is more than just its striking colors. It's an amalgamation of Gothic, Renaissance, and Manueline architectural styles, a tribute to Portugal's diverse cultural influences. One of the palace's most captivating features is its panoramic views of Lisbon. From atop the palace's highest towers, one can gaze upon the sprawling cityscape, the Azure Sea, and the verdant countryside, a breathtaking vista that leaves visitors in awe. The Pina Palace, a kaleidoscope of culture, takes the third place. In the heart of London, the Buckingham Palace stands as a symbol of monarchy and power. A testament to Britain's rich history, the palace has been the official London residence of the UK's monarchs since 1837. Today, it's the administrative headquarters of the monarch and a stage for many royal occasions and ceremonies. One such ceremony is the changing of the guard, a tradition that has been carried out since the reign of King Charles II. This ceremonial spectacle involves a new guard exchanging duties with the old guard, a sight that draws in crowds from across the globe. Within the palace walls, you'll find the splendid state rooms used for official and state entertaining. Decorated with some of the greatest treasures from the royal collection, including paintings by Van Dyck and Canaletto, these rooms are a testament to the palace's grandeur. 
The Buckingham Palace, a beacon of British royalty, is our second pick. In the imperial city of Vienna, the Schönbrunn Palace is a symbol of power and beauty. This magnificent estate, with its history deeply rooted in the Habsburg monarchy, whispers tales of grandeur from every corner. The palace's allure is not merely confined to its architectural brilliance. Its expansive gardens, stretching as far as the eye can see, are a verdant spectacle. They are an ode to the meticulous planning and the aesthetic vision of those who once walked these grounds. Much like the eminent Versailles, Schönbrunn is a testament to a bygone era of opulence and power. Its grandeur is not just visible in its palatial structure and ornate interiors, but is also echoed in the imposing Neptune Fountain and the Gloriette, the grand structure overlooking the palace gardens. The Schönbrunn Palace, a crowning jewel of Austria, tops our list at number one. Its unparalleled beauty and historic significance truly make it one of the most beautiful estates in the world. From the opulence of Versailles to the grandeur of Schönbrunn, we've traveled across continents and centuries. We've marveled at the enchanting gardens of Versailles and stood in awe before the majestic Hearst Castle. We've delved into the mystical allure of Neuschwanstein and admired the regal elegance of Biltmore. We've been captivated by the exquisite Villa Efrussi de Rothschild and stepped back in time at the historic Chatsworth House. We've reveled in the lavish luxury of Villa d'Este and felt like royalty at the Grand Pena Palace. We've walked the iconic halls of Buckingham Palace, and finally, we've been left breathless by the unparalleled beauty of Schönbrunn Palace. These ten estates, each unique and awe-inspiring, have given us a glimpse into the artistic vision and architectural prowess of different eras and cultures. Each estate, a world in its own, tells us a story of time and beauty. Please comment in the box below. Okay, bye-bye. Until next time, keep exploring and keep wondering.